Hi, I'm Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. In today's video of Custom and QuickBooks Training, I want to talk to you about a software that I use called QBox. This came up in a discussion recently with some other accounting friends. The question was, now that we're working from home, how do we share QuickBooks desktop files with our client and make it so it's not difficult for the client to always have the most current copy of QuickBooks? And how do we ensure that we also have the most current copy of QuickBooks? So I use this software called QBox, and I want to show you how it works just so you have information. If you use it, fantastic, and if you don't, fantastic. But I think it's a really great company and I really want you to see how it works. So the first thing I want to do is show you the website. It's called QBoxPlus.com. The software is called QBox and it's owned by a company called Coral Tree. You can see how it works, features, pricing, all that good stuff. The only thing I want to show you on here is just the pricing. So here's what the pricing is. If you have questions about the pricing, click the SQ box button. I can help you some, mostly my expertise is in the, the functionality and how I use it. They can talk to you about any of the rest of it. All right, so let me show you. What we're looking at here is the Q box on my Mac. And so I have parallel so you see Windows, but clearly I'm using a Mac. What I have is I have these various files, right? So I have my, my internal file. And so all my internal folders are here. And then I have subfolders underneath that. So for example, I have a subfolder for sample. And this is just where I put my sample files. So it, it's stuff like if somebody needs to see how something works, I might just put it together in my QuickBooks and send them over a video. Practical situations where you might use this is you might have, instead of the word internal, you might have a file for company A and then you share that file folder with company A, and then another file folder for company B, and you share that file folder with company B. So in this case, I just have the one internal folder, and I don't share any of these folders with my clients. These are all just for me. So let me shrink this, and I'll just show you. If you right-click and say New Folder, Company A. So now what I have is a folder that I can share with a company, and then when I double-click into it, their QuickBooks file, or if they're a company that has multiple QuickBooks files, all those files can be here in sync across all the, the people with access. So let me go back to internal and I'll kind of show you how it works and why it's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and use the sample for videos file. So I have this QuickBooks file. I'm going to open it. You can see right now that it was last synced on the 28th by Rachel at Gentle Frog. The way that it works is that the QuickBooks file lives on your C drive, but it's in this mapped drive with QBox. So if you're the kind of person who's ever mapped your Google Drive or your Dropbox, and you have files that sit on your C drive, but they're also backed up in the cloud, it's the same concept here. The difference between this and putting your QuickBooks in something like Drive or Dropbox is that your data files will not be corrupt if you put them in here. They will eventually get corrupt if you put them into Dropbox or Drive. If you need more information on that, feel free to Google. So let me show you. So I'm going to open this up. When I open it, it'll say that it's locked by me, which means that any other computers who have access to this file will be able to view the, the QuickBooks, but they won't be able to make changes. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on this side, and then I'll start the QuickBooks on my other computer, and you can see what it looks like if somebody else is logged into it. So password. All right, so this is gonna think for a second. It says that it's the sample file has been locked. What that's telling me is that I now have control of this QuickBooks file and any changes I make will be synced from my computer to the QBox in the cloud and then distributed down to any other QuickBooks that has access to this QBox account. So if you think about it in terms of you, you're working with your client or your client working with your accountant, 
if you come in here and you make some changes, your, your accountant can view your QuickBooks file while you're working, but they can't make any changes. And then when you close your QuickBooks file, the changes will sync to the QBox cloud and it'll then be distributed so your accountant gets the most updated information in their QuickBooks file. Let's just do this. I'll write a check real quick. Sample. Oh, I'm not writing a check to a company. Let's do Larry's Landscape. They got a check for $100, save and close. So that's an example of me. I've gone in, I've done some work in my QuickBooks. When I look at QBox, I can see over to the right that the file is currently locked by me, which means that any other user can only view the file, but they can't make changes to the file. All right, so it's last synced on 529 at 830 in the morning. Um, 826. So let me go ahead and close this. All right, so it's going to take just a second. You're going to see that it syncs over here. So this little check mark will turn into one of those kind of arrow spinning things. Once it does that, then I'll open up the QuickBooks on my other computer. You won't see that. It'll just pause this video. It'll be magic. So we can see that it's currently syncing. Do not turn off the computer. You can tell it's syncing because it has the little arrows that I described. At the bottom, you can see the progress. It's 79, 90%, 100% done. I know that it's done syncing when it stops saying locked by on the right. And then over here, the date updates, the date and time updates. So in my other computer, it's currently syncing that most recent data file. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I'm going to open up the QuickBooks on the other computer. 